Hey everybody, it's Brandon Soriano here in the back bay of Norman's Rare Guitars for a very special episode of Guitar of the Day with our good friend, Jonathan Stout. Hello everybody. Hey. A lot of you might know Jonathan. He's been on plenty of videos here at the shop. Norm really loves his playing and it's hard not to love his playing. You're just oh, phenomenal at what you do, man. <laughs> and so we're happy to have you here. And you know, if, if Jonathan's here, you might kind of know what sort of guitar we're, we're gonna do today. It's not a traditional flat top Friday, but Jonathan came up with the term F-hole Friday. F-hole Friday. I'll take it. I, I like, like that. that. <laughs> I like that a lot. And uh, it's a special Friday for a couple of reasons. Well, first of all, today is also Veterans Day. Uh, happy Veterans Day to everyone who has served out there. And, and, it's Jen's birthday. Woo! And, it's John's birthday. Woo! Our tech in the back, they have the same birthday, Lucky 1111. Yes. So yes. happy birthday to both of them. Happy Thank Veterans you. Day. Yeah, it's a crazy day here at the shop. Yeah. Just, you know, it's really going out there today. <laughs> it's a busy day. Um, so we're going we're gonna to talk about what we got here. It's something very special. Let's check it out. Jonathan, do you want to do the honors? Yeah, I'd be happy to. What do we got? All right. We have here a really cool early... 17 inch L5. This is a 1935 Gibson L5. This is one of the very first ones because it still has the old style real wide all the way to the ends block inlays that you would see on a 16 inch L5 from up to 1934. So this has got that earlier style fingerboard um, but with the full 17 inch body. This is going to be X-braced with a, a regular Gibson uh, 24 and 3 quarter scale length. Um, and it was another thing that's really cool about this guitar is this tailpiece was very rare, very transitional, uh, and it's got the cool Art deco -y L5 there. I love um, that script. Yeah, and it's it's got some wear, but like the crazing on the top is amazing because when you get that crazing, that means the finish isn't choking the guitar. That means this thing is gonna sing. Um, we've got, looks like the original pick guard to me. Um, and uh, looks like, the back. oh yeah, well, I'm Gibson dude. backs, look at that. Wow. Look at, that. Look at those, oh look at those stripes. That's wow. a wide flame too, I love that. Yeah, yeah, these are, and it's just, uh, the way the way they rub the varnish in and then the spray over top, it's just, is killer. Yeah, it looks like, um, yeah, these are original, um, yeah, these are definitely the original tuners. Uh, these would be mm -hmm. Grovers. Um, yeah, and this is just in great shape. And the something, sides, oh. yo, the, yeah, and then the sides are always Killer. really great. Wow. Flex. But I'll say, one of the things that's really important about these old guitars is like, how they look is really cool. And like, if it's in good condition, that's really cool. But not all of them sound great. This one sounds great. Yeah. This one like sings. And the X-Brace is really great because it, it was really good at a fuller bass and a little bit more sustain. Yeah. So uh, I think some arch tops, when they're made to cut through a band, they can be a little pokey sounding, a little mid rangey. I agree, a little spiky. A little banjo-y even. Yeah, yeah. And this is just really round and warm and full, but with a nice bright top end too. Totally and agree. So, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, I mean, Jonathan really knows his stuff. I don't even need to be here for yes, that. Yes, he, he, he does a good spec it, check. It, oh yeah. <laughs> if, you want, if you want to nerd out a little bit more, I took a look at the FON, which is the factory order number, and I would expect there to be three digits or two digits and then a, a letter and then another set of digits. Right. And usually that letter would be like A for 35, B for 36, and so on. Um, and there's no letter. So this may be a 34 kind of transitional. Transition. Transitional, yeah. As we mentioned, this is the start of the larger body size for these guitars. So it's totally possible that this was in some kind of transition period. I mean, we're calling it later to play it safe, but you yeah. definitely could be right. I mean, you know, it's it's a special guitar for sure. And it sounds, oh my God, it now, sounds so good. I, I'm not sure if there's any case candy. This is oh. a guide case. I'm not there's some case candy all right not th for the guitar you know what this this might be is this could be an original case because I think this era of case they did with the red lines this might be original case, but I'm gonna mm. I'm gonna defer on that but I did see some case candy in oh, here what do you got in there <gasps> look at that whoa it's my new Christmas CD <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so uh, my band the campus five we just put out a Christmas CD you can get it Spotify Bandcamp, anywhere you get your online music and it's uh, 15 great songs no, no, played in the 1930s always... Christmas style and I do electric I mean sorry electric Charlie Christian soloing on it I do some uh, kind of acoustic chord melody soloing mm -hmm. and uh, this is a great record because um, even if you don't like Christmas it still swings so like you can uh, you know you can it's not still like, jam 
out to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not kind of shoving the holidays down your throat. Like this is this is a good, easy, easy, mellow thing, and cool. it's really fun. So check and, it out. And you have a great vocalist that you work with as well, right? Yeah, my, my co-band leader Hillary Alexander, and she's all over this. Um, yeah, check it out. Yeah, cool. Please check out his new record. He's a phenomenal player, as you're about to hear. And uh, we're just honored to have you playing this amazing guitar today. I think we could take it out front yeah. and see what it sounds well, like. Well, I mean, I think we need to do one more thing. Yes. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Wow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jen and John. Happy birthday to you. Wow. Oh, man. Happy That's birthday, you guys. Thank you. Cheers, everybody. We'll see you out there and we'll take the dark. Let's see what it can do. Hey everybody, so one of our favorites and part of the family here at the store, Jonathan Stout. This guy plays his 30 style arch top guitars like nobody's business. My buddy Jack over here, who everybody knows what a great player is, he's been waiting for Jonathan to come in for a while so he can meet face to face. This is his new Christmas album, Let It Snow, all right? And uh, you have some vocals on this too. Uh, I'm not. I'm not the one singing, but our singer Hillary Alexander's all over this. My my, my co-band leader, and uh, it's a great little Christmas record. And would that I had been prepared to play you a Christmas tune. <laughs> well, <laughs> but you, could, you could always come back. Well, well, right. <laughs> oh, the tease! I like the tease. But I yes. figured we'd do uh, we do an old uh, '30s tune called "My Blue Heaven." Does that sound? That, that works sounds for you? good to me. And this is a '35 L5. Yeah, first year I believe of the big body, right? First year big body. It's got the the unusual wide uh, block inlays that would been the earlier. The yeah, the earlier style, and it's got this uh, very cool transitional L5 tail piece. Script um, logo. Script logo, and this thing sounds really good. So, well, want to hear it? Let's hear it. All right. let you guys know when I first met Jonathan I thought he was a little slow but all this stuff that I taught him he's really mastered it you are really getting good I mean you know well I've been coming here I've been literally been coming here since I started playing guitar and never been able to afford anything until I finally was able to afford something and I just wanted to tell you I saw that video that Rhett Schull did where he came in and tried all those yeah Les Pauls out and I had a similar experience. This is a place where you can come try just a ton of stuff because they have just such huge inventory. So there's several L5s in here right now, acoustic L5s. There are not many places on earth right now that have mm -hmm. several acoustic L5s. So when I came in to buy my 1932, which is like a smaller body L5, um, you had just bought somebody's collection and you had like five or six of them. And I fell in love with this one particular one, 90303. And I came back and I brought the guitars I had at the time to try it out and I did all the A-Bing and I came back a third time to buy 90303. And then there were five more in the cases on the, on the, on the <laughs> floor and I didn't even know that. So I went and went through all of those and then uh, 88784, way better. <laughs> really? And I bought that one and that's, that's, my, that's my Desert Island guitar right there and that was here at Norm's. Well, you know, Jonathan really plays great and it's always an honor to have him in here. And 
you know, that style, I mean, again, there's not many people playing it, but you kill it. If I can do one more shill, uh, if you do like that kind of 30s chord melody style of guitar playing, uh, which I stole from a guy named Alan Roos, who was a student of George Van Epps, and there are a couple other players from that era. Um, I actually have a course that's on the DC Music School, so if you go to dc-musicschool.com, there's a whole course, Jazz Guitar in the Style of Jonathan Stout, which wasn't my idea because I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'm that special. But if you want to, if you want to get into special. that stuff, he's that special. <laughs> there's, and there's three volumes, and two of it's Charlie Christian style electric playing, and then one's uh, the chord melody style. So if you want to check that out, that's on sale now. And the Christmas Christmas record on Spotify, on Bandcamp, anywhere you get your music. We'll be playing it in the store here. So Jonathan, thanks as always, buddy. Thanks. Oh, for thank you, Norm. A pleasure, buddy. Thanks for being uh, loyal and all that. Man. We love you. Oh, right back at you. Jonathan Stout. Hey guys, uh, by popular demand, they actually wanted one more song on this uh, 1935 Gibson L5, so here's a little bit of Stompin' at the Savoy. messing around um, and uh, hope you dig it. I'm Jonathan Stout. You just Google me. Uh, I come up. Find me on Spotify and on Bandcamp. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that was awesome.